We are showing you different kinds of public dialogue, which you can resort to if the civil uh, public dialogue doesn't work. We've suggested blaming and conversation referees and whining and sometimes just flat out mindless contradictions. It's just what you need. We've got one more suggestion. I am not making this up. On the 6th of January, before the crowd attacked the Capitol, a prominent lawyer, in fact, the lawyer whose name is best known anywhere in the United States, Rudy Giuliani, said to the crowd, let's try trial by combat. Now, we in no way suggest that picking a president of the United States in a trial by combat is a good idea. But uh, if you think about his idea, there is some possibilities here for settling disputes between two people. Now, now think about it here, Can you stay with me. With just a few changes in the laws, in Montana we could hold annual wrestling competitions. <laughs> Amateur wrestlers but professional rules. And in each weight and age category, when they get to the finals, the winner in the finals gets to expound his or her political and religious views and anything else they have strong views on. And at the same time, the loser must bow before them and at the end must say into the microphone, for the record, everything my opponent said was right, everything I said was wrong. Can you imagine how exciting this would be? You tell me this is not made for reality TV. In fact, the TV income to the state of Montana would probably be such we could do away with property taxes. But you say, well, what would it look like? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Montana State Finals in the 180 pound and nearly 80 years of age class. <laughs> Our first contestant uh, grew up in Billings, Montana and went to Rocky Mountain College. He now lives in Helena. He has strong views on politics and religion. Would you please welcome Bob Fitzgerald. <laughs> His opponent this evening also uh, grew up in Billings and went to Rocky, lives in Helena too. He claims that he will never change his views on religion and politics because everything he believes is right. Would you please welcome Bob Fitzgerald. <laughs> Some conflicting laws passed by the legislature caused Bob to draw himself in the final this, this year. Now the, the referee's calling him into the middle of the, and he's shaking hands with himself. Now he separates the wrestlers and as soon as he gives the signal and the clock will start, Bob is looking for that all-important first takedown. It's always going, a single leg is about the only one that can get at this. Oh, he's got it, he's got the takedown. He is down on, down on the mat and we don't know what he's going to be doing. Oh, he's spinning around, it's the old butt spin. The, the overhead double nostril, he's in bad trouble. And, and he's off the mat. The overhead double nostril is the most painful hold in all of wrestling. It has been outlawed everywhere except in Montana wrestling and the legislature. And now that the referee is signaling one point for Bob for an escape and two points for the takedown there. Now the wrestlers will begin in the up and down position. Bob in the up position and Bob in the down position. And uh, Rob is ready and... Uh, oh, he pinched himself. Pinching is not allowed while the clock isn't running. And he's ready, and, and oh, he pinched himself again. The referee said he'd be thrown out next, that'd be terrible, there'd be no winner then. Quick, get, get the time. Now pinching is illegal, go ahead and pinch, and oh, he's, he's pinching his ankle, it looks, he's trying to pin himself. Bob is trying, the referee has to count till 20 to make sure he's not asleep. Um, he, he's almost ready to pin himself, oh, he comes up, he bit his own knee. Bob, Gerald, bit his own knee and he's injured. Oh, now the referee is pointing out two points for Bob for the near fall and three oh, points against Bob, penalty points against Bob for biting his own knee. Uh, after a penalty like that, the wrestlers have to begin in a standing position, but I don't know if he can get up. Uh, referees are not only allowed, but are, are required to help wrestlers in this age category. He's up on his own, and he's ready to begin, and the referee gives us, no, no, the referee has to wait until he gets his attention here. Bob is holding his back, but we know he has a pre-existing condition. That doesn't count anymore in Montana. Ignore that referee. Oh, he's about, now he's about, he's got ready to give this signal, and the clock starts. Oh, uh, kicking himself. He's warning himself. He hit himself in the head. He stomped on his foot. Oh, and it, I don't know. The double-handed hair grab. Very unusual in the nearly 80 male category. <laughs> oh, don't know what he's gonna do with it. He kicked himself in the forehead. 
He may have knocked himself out. He's the winner!